What's happening, everybody? Jeff Lightsey Jr. here with the Ball Sports Network. Thank you guys for the continued support. Continue to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell as I upload videos every single day. Now, today I'm here to tell you why the biggest threat to the Lakers winning the championship or the biggest boost, the biggest help for them to move past the Houston Rockets, the person that can help them the most is Russell Westbrook. Yes. A player for the Rockets may be the reason why the Lakers will beat the Rockets. And it's Mr. Russell Westbrook. And here's why. The Rockets are a few Russell Westbricks <laughs> and bad three-point shots and turnovers away from being up 2-0 in this series. The team that threatens the Lakers' chance to win the championship in the entire NBA isn't the Clippers, isn't the Heat, or the Celtics, or I would say the Bucks, but they're dead to water, but isn't the Raptors, it's none of them. It is the Houston Rockets. The worst matchup for them is the Houston Rockets. Why? Because they don't match up well. Fights and basketball games are made with styles, and the Rockets' style of play can win them any game versus anybody. Right, even as good of a team the Lakers are, they have a tough time defending guards. We saw that against Portland, and we're seeing and not only defending guards, but perimeter shooting, defending perimeter shooting, and getting perimeter shooting of their own. And what do the Rockets have? They have great guards and great perimeter shooting. The Rockets had 22 threes in game two. 22. Now, here's why Russell Westbrook is could be the end-all be-all for the Houston Rockets. Now, the Rockets were down 21 points in the first half to the Lakers. Most of that was due to a bunch of turnovers, mainly by Russell, <laughs> and a bunch of fouls. Third quarter, they went on an avalanche. They scored 41 points in the third quarter. 41 outscored the Lakers, 41-23. to 23. How did most of that happen? Great three-point shooting, and Russell Westbrook was on the bench. I love Russ, but he was on the bench during that avalanche. During the fourth quarter, they were outscored 27 to 17, and the Lakers ultimately won by what? Eight points. 27 to 17, last I checked, is 10 points. How did they do that? Russ came back in the game, and Russ missed a bunch of threes. Here's the breakdown between the two games and Russ's game, and how this correlates, and how Houston can up still very much so win this series. In game one, Russ had 24 points. He shot 10 for 24. It's pretty it's solid, you know, Russ-type numbers. He was one for five from threes. Not great. But he had nine rebounds and six assists and five turnovers, which is not good. But here was the downfall. Russ in game two was four for 15. Terrible. One for seven from threes. That's six missed threes. Now think about this. Now let's look at that number. One for seven. He missed six threes. The Rockets went 22 of 53 from three-point range, which is almost 42%. You take away the, the six misses, they're hovering around 45% from three in the game. Hit 22 threes. Outscored the Lakers by 30 points from the three-point line alone. And Russ has seven turnovers. He had a bunch of rebounds, but seven turnovers. Now, here is how the Rockets can beat the Lakers. Russ, stop shooting threes. <laughs> Russ shot 25% from the three-point line this season. The Lakers are trapping James Harden and making the ball swing till it gets to Russ and daring him to shoot. And guess what? He keeps doing it. <laughs> stop shooting. Stop shooting the threes. It's in the numbers. You shot five threes. They're, the Houston Rockets aren't going to win the series with Russ shooting seven threes a game. They're not. They are not going to win this series. They might not win the series anyway, but they don't have a chance in hell winning this series with Russ shooting seven threes. Russell Westbrook, if you cut your three-point attempts from seven to three and you continue to take Caruso off the dribble, but don't dribble into double teams. It's, it's two things. That's the thing about Russ. He's a great player, but he oh, he makes you want to rip your hair out because Caruso cannot guard Russell Westbrook. They make switches to get him on James Harden. Caruso is dead to water out there when he's playing. He's dead to water. Eric Gordon was lighting them up. And so what they what the Lakers did was they forced the ball out of Harden's hands and they forced a try to run Eric Gordon off the three-point line. He wasn't as effective in the fourth quarter from three. When he was laughing, he hit six threes in the game. But Covington hit four threes, Eric hit six, and Harden hit four. 
those are numbers that can that can you can replicate that. See, a lot of things the Lakers did in game two aren't gonna be replicated. Markeith Morris ain't gonna hit four threes in that first quarter. You can't count on Kuzma to be that consistent, six or seven, at efficient. You can't count on that. But the things the Rockets did, you can count on. There's been plenty of times where they hit 22 threes. Covington can shoot. Eric can shoot. James Harden can shoot. House can shoot. Like, those are things that, that you can, that's going to happen. You can replicate that. You can do that three to four more times to win a four-game series, to win, a, win four games in a series. But you can't win if Russ shoots seven shots, seven threes. You can't. Russ has to exploit them putting Caruso on him and even Rondo. Even when they put Rondo on him, set up on the block. Russ almost has to play like a center. He has to work from the paint in and take his guys off the dribble. When that ball swings to him, they're, they're, not, they're not running towards you for a reason. Take your man off the dribble or post up on the block. Russ has a terrific, terrific mid-range game. You almost got to play like a center. And when they try to duck, because they're going to have to, because you're going to eat up Caruso or Rondo, whoever they put on them. And when they double team, hit the shooters. And then that's when James can take you home. The Lakers are going to, I mean, this is going to be a long series because they hit 22 threes and lost. I don't see that happening too many more times. Russ is going to figure this out. I think he is. And that's when the Lakers are going to have to make adjustments off that. But the key to the Lakers winning this game, if they can keep Russell Westbrook shooting from the three-point line, they'll win this series. They will. You tell me your thoughts. Who's the biggest Who's the biggest ally to the Lakers? Who who, who who will be the reason for them running the series? I'm saying it's not LeBron James. It's not Anthony Davis. The key to the Lakers winning the series is Russell Westbrook. And the proof is in the first two games. Once again, my name is Jeff Lacey Jr. with the Ball Sports Network. Thank you guys for the continued support. Continue the thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe, and cut on your notifications. I'll see you next time.